Rejects, welcome to the Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide Closed Beta. I was lucky enough to receive an invite to give it a go, so that I did. Here's what I learned so far. For the uninitiated, Dark Tide follows in a similar path to the Warhammer Fermentide series of first person, hack and slash, chew em up and spit em out type combat games. Dark Tide takes things into the 40k universe and ups the ante a few notches. The game focuses around cooperative play in squads of four, so call up your buddies, get on comms, and get to work. Dark Side allows you to select from one of four character classes. A combat veteran from the Astra Militum, the seemingly insane Zealot Preacher, a mind-strong Psyker Psykinetic, or the massively powerful Ogren Skullbreaker. Each class has its own unique looks, abilities, weapons, and story. Oh, and you're a reject. A prisoner recruited by the Inquisition and sent in as fodder to the fray against a new mysterious and sinister foe. There's quite a bit of character customization available here to fully customize not only how your character looks, but his or her backstory. It's kind of a neat touch. You battle together with your squad mates through a variety of missions such as securing items, restoring power, and assassinations. As you complete missions and gain experience, you'll earn an income while raising the level of trust which grants you access to more weapons in the shop and additional services. A small change for most games, but still pretty interesting. The graphics are really slick and well put together in very unique environments that make you feel like you're part of the action on Atoma Prime in the Hive City of Tertium. But to get the most out of your experience, you'll need a fairly modern GPU. Otherwise, expect to dial down the settings a little. It's still in beta though, so take that with a grain of salt. I'll also add that ray tracing and upscaling techs from both AMD and Nvidia are included to help get the most out of your GPU. A nice addition, if you ask me. The sound design here is really good. From the eerie atmospheric sounds, crunching bones, echoing noises, and beastly screams really help to set the mood. The music matches the game perfectly with some great selections including the beloved heavy gothic organ. I'll also say that the voiceovers and chatter during gameplay are all nicely performed and help make the game more enjoyable to play. The story is interesting, although a little limited in the beta test, but so far it centers around the defense of the high city of Tertium and the recruitment of prisoners to aid in the fight. We'll see how things go as the game is released and more playtime as possible. Gameplay is what Dark Tide is all about. Cooperative play with three of your fellow rejects can be a really good time, as long as you play somewhat cohesively as a group. Typical for online play, somebody always runs off harming the team dynamic. Nothing new here, so it would be best to play with people you know, if possible. In any case, you must work together to both survive and achieve the mission objectives. The gunplay is also pretty good and really fun. The weapons don't really let you feel like you're an overwhelming force, leaving you to always feel like you're on the verge of being overrun, which helps to make the game feel like a genuine challenge. There isn't a huge variety of weaponry so far, basically rifles and shotguns for the most part, but we'll see what the full release brings to the table. The hand-to-hand -hand combat is great and you must take part as the guns just aren't good enough. It's often frantic but oh so satisfying when you're cleaving off heads and severing torsos and tossing grenades into roomfuls of bodies. Using combat shovels, knives and swords has never been so much fun. I'll start by saying that this is a beta release and with that there are some caveats such as incomplete content, bugs, crashes and other issues. So we can't really make any true judgement. But I will say that with fully unlocked content and a bit more spit and shine, this game has the potential to be a must buy. All signs so far point to yes, but as always, time will tell. In any case, I enjoyed my time playing Dark Tide and hope to get a crack at the full game upon release. Until then, the Emperor protects.